Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how anyone can easily make amazing animated logo intro videos using the Placeit Video Creator. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. In a world of unlimited distractions, one of the best ways to grab people's attention online is to use eye-catching videos. Whether you're marketing your print-on-demand products or simply growing a blog, using videos to promote your brand will set your content apart from the competition. Creating animated logo intro videos used to be a complicated process or really expensive to get done. But with Placeit, this is no longer the case. You can forget about paying hundreds of dollars to some editor for a single video. With Placeit, you have access to tons of easy to use tools and templates to quickly create any video you need whenever you need it. Creating an animated logo intro video on Placeit is a simple process and can be done in minutes. In this Placeit tutorial, I'll be creating an example logo intro video for one of my print on demand brands called Martial Art Lifestyle. My Martial Art Lifestyle brand currently has around 13,000 followers on Facebook so I want to create a cool animated logo intro video to engage my fans and send them to my online shop to check out my merch. With thousands of video templates to choose from on Placeit, you can create an amazing animated logo intro video for any topic, style, or niche. But in order to access all the Placeit tools, graphics, and video templates, you'll first need to create your Placeit account. To access Placeit, go ahead and click the link in the video description and let's head over to the Placeit website to create our animated logo intro video. So here's the Placeit homepage. Placeit is one of my favorite services to use to build my print on demand business. Not only can you use Placeit to easily create t-shirt designs and product mockups, but also your brand logos, marketing videos, cover images, and all sorts of other graphics and media that you can use to grow your business. I'll be creating tutorials for all of these tools, but for this video, we're going to be creating an animated logo intro video. So to get started, let's look at the menu at the top of the screen and hover over the videos tab. This should display a drop down menu where you can select the type of video you wish to create. So let's go down to the tab that says intros and slideshows, then click on intros and outros. This will take you to a page where you can view hundreds of pre-made logo intro and outro videos that you can use for your project. With their wide variety of templates, no matter your niche or style preference, they'll have something that works for you. When browsing, simply hover your mouse over any of the templates to get a preview of how it looks. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page here, we can see they have over 36 pages worth of templates and they're constantly adding more each month. With so many templates, we need a way to sort through the type that we're actually looking for. Luckily, we can do that by looking at the menu here on the left hand side. Using the tabs here, you can select the type of video you wish to create, whether it's for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or any of the others here, or view the video templates based on certain tags, which are pretty much keywords that are associated with the video. One of the best ways to get a good overview of the different templates Placeit has to offer is to check out the tags that are relevant to you and see what kind of cool stuff they have. But to find my template, I think I'm going to use the search bar at the top here. Since I want to create a logo intro video for my print on demand shop, I think I'll type in apparel intro. This should bring up all the video templates that are associated with that keyword phrase. So it looks like I have six apparel intro video templates here. So let's hover over each video to get a preview and see which one would work best for my brand. When previewing your templates, remember that most of the colors can be changed and also the images and videos. So for the logo intro video for my martial art lifestyle brand, I think I'll go with this video template here. Once you select your template, you should be taken directly to the Placeit Video Maker. Here's where you can update your template by adding new text, changing your fonts and colors, adding your logo, adding music, and even changing the background images or video. So let's get started by changing the text. From the text menu here on the right hand side of the page, you can update your text, change your fonts, and update your colors. So in the text field here, I'm going to type in Shop Martial Arts Apparel. As you're typing, you should see the text automatically update on your template. I'm not really a fan of this font, 
So let's go back to the text menu and click the drop down menu here to select a new font. They have tons to choose from, so go ahead and browse through the different fonts and see which one works best for your video. For my video, I think I'll go with this font here. There we go. I think that looks much better. I think this font is much easier to read and also goes better with my brand. After you select your font, you can also use the other drop down menu here to select your font color. You can pretty much select any color under the rainbow, so go ahead and select the color that matches your brand. Also, when you're selecting your color, make sure it's easy to read. If your template has a black background, for example, it wouldn't make sense to use black text. So for my video, I think I'll use this light yellow color here. There we go. Now that you've added and updated your text, let's go over how to upload our logo. To replace the example logo with our logo, let's click the replace button here. You can then find and open up your brand logo. When you open your logo, you'll see a screen pop up where you can adjust your logo size and location. Simply use the slider bar to adjust your logo size and click to drag your logo to a new location if needed. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the blue crop button. Your brand logo should then be added to your template. So we've changed my text and added my logo. So now let's go over how to change the background video. Your template background video, image, or color can be adjusted using the menu here on the right. As you can see, Placeit has tons of images and videos in their library that you can use for your project. But in order to find the videos and images that are related to my project, let's go up to the search bar here. Since I'm creating a logo intro video for my martial arts brand, let's search for boxing. I should now see all the images and videos in the Placeit library that's associated with the keyword boxing. With tens of thousands of images and videos, they pretty much have something for every niche. But for my video, I think I'll go with this one here. Once you select your background, it should automatically be added to your template. Before we continue, let's check out the video and see how it looks. To play a preview of your video, go down to the bottom left and click on the play all button. It may take a few seconds for it to load, but once it's finished, you should get a preview of your video. So there's my shop martial arts apparel text, the video I selected, and my logo. If you're happy with the way your video looks, feel free to go ahead and click the download button. But for my logo intro video, I think I'm going to upload a custom background. If you look on the right hand side at the background menu, you'll see a button that says upload image or video. If you click this, you can upload your own image or video to use for your template background. The boxing video I got from the Placeit library was pretty cool, but I think my video's a bit cooler. Once your background video finishes uploading, you should see a screen pop up where you can crop and trim your video. I think I'll leave my video as is, so let's go down and click on the crop and trim button. After processing, your new background video should be added to your template. The background video I'm using is actually a video mockup that I created using Placeit. To learn how to use Placeit to create awesome image and video mockups, feel free to check out my tutorial on how to create mockups on Placeit, which is available on my YouTube page. So we've changed my text, added my logo, and uploaded my background. Now let's add some music. If you look at the top right hand side of the page, you'll see a section that says audio track. Here's where you can add or change the background music for your video. If you click the edit icon here, You'll be taken to the audio library where you can browse through thousands of different audio tracks that you can use for your project. The audio tracks are separated into dozens of different genres, including acoustic, blues, chill, classical, dance, hip hop, electronic or EDM, and tons of other music styles that you can use depending on your project. Adding music is a great way to set the tone or mood of your video and also helps to hold people's attention. Feel free to take your time and browse through the audio library and find a music track that works best for your project. Once you find a music track that you like, go ahead and click the select button to add it to your video. And voila! I now have an amazing animated logo intro video with my own text, my own logo, my custom background, and my selected music. I could download and use my animated logo intro video as is, but let's see if we can make the video even better. For my video, I think I'll add another scene. 
to add a new scene to your video, look down at the bottom menu and click on the Add Slide button. This should open up a new window where you can browse through all the different video templates that are available on Placeit. Take some time to browse through the templates and find one that goes with the goal of your video. As an example, I think I'll just go with this video template here. Once you select a new slide for your project, you'll see it appear down here at the bottom menu. So let's click to select the slide and edit my new scene. So just like we did with our first slide, let's change our text, upload our logo, adjust our colors, and upload a new background image. My animated logo intro video will now have two custom slots. Currently, both the scenes in my project are 10 seconds long each, but for this video, I think I want each scene to only play for 5 seconds. If you look at the playback speed menu here on the left hand side, you can decrease the speed by 50% or increase the speed by 50%. Let's click the 1.5 button here to increase my scene speed. Let's also do the same thing for the first scene since I want each scene to only play 5 seconds each. There we go. So now I think I've added everything I want to add to my animated logo intro video. But before we can download the video, we'll have to go down and click the play all button here to load all the elements. This is also a good time to preview your video and see if you need to make any changes. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the blue download button. You should then see a drop down menu appear from the downloads tab and your video should start processing. It may take a few minutes for your video to process, but once it's finished, go ahead and click the link here to download your new video. Your video should then be downloaded directly to your computer. So let's open up my new animated logo intro video and see how it turned out. Not bad. I think that'll work great for sending customers to my martial arts shop. I can now head over to my martial art lifestyle brand page on Facebook and upload my new logo intro video. Whether you're trying to build your following, get more visitors to your online shop, or even sell products online using paid advertising, using eye-catching animated logo intro videos will definitely help you set your content apart from the competition. If you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the video description to sign up for Placeit and not only access the video creator, but also the t-shirt designer, the logo maker, and all sorts of other cool tools and features to help you build and grow your business. So that's a quick overview of how to create animated logo intro videos using Placeit. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.